Good morning, art buddies. It's Ugly Nail Sunday. Welcome in and welcome to Brie Collage with Pink Girlie. I have just wolfed down a half of a sandwich. I'm doing my last pickle. I'm getting ready to rock and roll here. Okay, so I have it in my mind I want to do some jelly printing today, but kind of with a purpose. I want to print pages that I can use in small journals, and I love reels, and a reel came up the other day, and the gal's name is... Birgit Koopsen. Now, Devin Rex had told me about her a long while ago, but of course, I don't gel, play, gel print that often. So I kind of forgot about her. But a reel came up and uh, she was showing a few things. It, 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 I don't know if it was a reel, could have been her story. She added to her story. Good morning, Peggy. And I can't find it now. And she was working on a small plate. I'm assuming she was doing, hey, good morning, Andrea. I'm assuming she was doing a backgrounds for cards and small projects. Um, but she had a card with a bunch of buttons on it. I loved it. At least that's what it looked like. Like, I know if my kids had seen that, they would have absorbed everything that they saw in that split second. But I, my brain is not like that. So I'm going to try to recreate what I think I saw. So I just dumped out some of my buttons. I have my hot glue gun plugged in. And I've got this pretty firm piece of cardboard, cardstock. And I thought I'm just going to start gluing down some buttons and see if I can recreate kind of what she had. Now, I don't want them to be too high off of the board because I want to be able to stamp them on the plate. So if this is up high, it's not, the ink or the paint or whatever is not going to get on those buttons. Does that make sense? So maybe I need a pokey tool. Hey, there's Kel. Good morning, Kel. Might need a pokey tool. No, that's not going to be. Uh, of course, the puppy's been good, but now she's right under my feet. Oh, yeah, look, that works. That'll work. All right, let me get some hot glue here. Now, she also used, um, like, I have a container of thread, saving all my threads from different sewing projects. Good morning, Gail. And I use them um, sometimes, if I remember them. You know, underneath clusters and stuff like that. I love that. Now, see, this has got a big wad of thread. Let me see if I can snip that. Um, but she had some fiber that had a little bit of texture to it, which I could, you know, I could grab some of that out, but I didn't. But I do have a little bit of um, string here. I thought that might look cool wound on a piece of cardboard. And then I've got some lace here I might try to use. So I don't want anything too in your face on my papers. And I don't want um, wild colors. I came on earlier and just did some prep work and dug through my stash of um, gel printed fabrics.
So I'm really looking to make pages like that. <laughs> that I might have to snip off. But it was so cool what she did with the buttons when she was using, um, thanks, Kel. She was using, um, neon colors. You know, if you're going to use that for a, an art project or if you have, oh, I got that one really close. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, you know, a specific project with colors, that's one thing, but I'm kind of wanting just some smaller pages that are kind of muted colors. So I have my um, dilution sprays sitting off here to the right. I'm going to look at those and... Um, I'm not sure I want to do acrylic paint, but I might have to, to, to be able to work with this. So I don't know. I'm just going to see. I don't, I don't really know where this, I don't know where this ride's going to take me. Now I might just end up with buttons at this end. I don't know. I might want it. Man, maybe I should have it go across the whole plate. I was thinking about using my little, a little plate but then i don't really know what size hey junie hello hello uh oh here she goes ah <sighs> cinnamon roll french toast strips boy that sounds good to a sugar monkey i was just saying the last whoa my last live my sugar monkey that sounds delicious. Yes, I do. I have. Who's asking me that question, Andrea? Yes, I have. And I have it here somewhere, but I haven't found it in about a year. Well, more like two years. Excuse me, I had to have a sip. They were out of stock for a while. And um, look, I glued that right to my, oh well. And so it came back in stock and I bought several of it. Holly was still alive when I bought it because I sent some to her. So that's been a couple of years. No idea where I put it. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. Hit the camera. So, I mean, I know it's here somewhere. Oh, look, these are little. Let me take these apart. <clears throat> I think I might have to get out pinchers. What else is Judy having? Orange juice. I don't think I'm so much a fan of orange juice and sweet stuff, but that's just me. She's relaxing. Good. I'm glad Judy's relaxing. Having a nice little breakfast. A nice little breakfast. All right. These, I want to cut the bottoms off. I don't know what this is. This just has a single hole in it, but it's all cracked. I don't know if that's old bake light or something. I don't know. I'm gluing it down. Glowing it down. That's got some design to it. All right, let me get a pair of snippers. Of course, I just buried the snippers. Be careful, Jenny. That's not it. Oh, that might come in handy. So just humor me for a little bit. So welcome, welcome in. I hope everyone's doing well. Replayers, just, I'm sorry, but I just need a little, I 
need a little time to uh, explore to some degree. All right, I'm just trying to shove my extra, 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 read all about it. Okay, let's see. See if I can snip. Yeah. I want to try to get this, you know, flat. Sunshine and lollipops and rainbows and everything that's wonderful. That's how I feel when we're together. <clears throat> okay. So I've been listening to these information type videos about how to um, do better with your, your channel and with your videos. I just wonder what that guy would say, the guy that leads all that stuff. I just wonder what he would say about my crazy shenanigans here. I don't think it would be good. Okay, so let's scoot that on. I don't really want the hot glue to come through the buttonholes, but I think that might be somewhat inevitable. Let me see if I can get this little shanky shank off here. Now, I don't know how practical it is putting these buttons on this paper. I guess I could wipe the buttons off with a baby wipe. But I'm trying to get them where they're not, no one button is up real high from the other so that when I press it down, I can get an imprint. Look at that's like a little, it's like a little tack. That's going to go right in there. It's like a, um, you know, like those little tacks they would put in furniture, old timey furniture. Let's see if I can, see if I can poke it in there without poking it through my finger. I better use the pokey tool. Has anybody ever made their own little things to um, use on their gel plate? And if you have, what have you made? I don't want that extra glue, I'll tell you. I don't want the extra glue. See, this guy's really big. See, he's going to stick up too far. But look at this little brown bird there, and that would be good. Okay. Let's get this little green number. Oh, I hope it doesn't go in my lemonade. Or on the floor, because the little pup finds everything we're constantly saying what do you have now what do you have now all right i need some little buttons let's see i've got ruler buttons over here in my little milk jug i keep that on my desk let's see now some you know they're going to come out and they're going to be too cute and i can't use them just saying good morning joyce Oh, it's so nice to see all of your pretty little faces. Okay, let's see. I need some filler. Peggy, have you recovered from Easter? Tomorrow, April 8th, our grandson will be six years old. I can't even stand it. Six. And then next month, our son will be 30. Our daughter just turned 39. 
next month our son will be 38 and our granddaughter nine you know judy um for a long time hey mitts good morning um, for a long time, I believe um, Lisa Conway, she'd made her own jelly plate. And um, that's what she used for a long time, I think. I don't, is anybody in chat, have they made their own? Peggy says she has the collection of trash for the jelly plate corrugated. Oh, that that's a good idea. Veggie mesh bags, egg carton, buttons, assorted bottle. <gasps> bottle caps. I have bottle caps. Bubble wrap. I just threw out a piece of bubble wrap because Jenny had it and took it into the living room. I didn't want to get paint in them. I took them off. Except for this one. I didn't take time to unlatch it. I didn't want my gangly ones to get into paint, my dear. I know what a mess I am. I got paint all over the sleeve of this sweater the other day. Look, I know. Look what I did. I had no idea I did that. Not doing it to my bracelets. No, no, no. Good thinking. Yeah, good thinking. That's not going to fit. Yes, there is this gray square stuff. What is that stuff called? Does anybody know what it's called? This guy's not going to fit in there either. You can make, I think it's a Simon Hurley product, where you can press images like paper clips, buttons, um, spools of thread, anything you want. You smash into this gray stuff. And then you can use it as a stamp. And then when you put heat on it, it boinks back to its original shape. And then you can put something else in it. I have it, but I don't know where it is. Stamping foam. Is that what it is? Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. I need a small look. These. Oh, these. These. Um glue strings can make you crazy. <laughs> exactly right. That's one benefit of wearing the mask. Especially if you have dental work and you, you're like you're missing your teeth because you're waiting for dental work to be done. Yeah, that's me. Just wear a mask. Look, there's a little guy. Will he fit in there? I'll fit down in there. Let's do that. Now, Bir Birgit Coopson, she used the fiber and she just rolled that around on her jelly plate. But see, then you pick it up and it's like, what do you do with it? See, I'm very short on space here. I'm working in a very, very small area. So I don't know if I want to do that. So I was thinking about gluing some of my rope to one of these cards. Just for something different. Hmm. Got a gapper. Got a gapper. I'll go in there. Lovely. Let's 
So I said to my daughter, do you have any pictures from Easter? No. She took one picture. I don't even know if the kids had Easter outfits. And then my bonus son, he's usually pretty good. Oh, look, there's a snap. Oh, snap. I wonder how cute that would be. I would stick out like a sore thumb, maybe. Um, so he sends me a picture, two pictures of the baby in a swing, which were, you know, a swing out in the park, which is really great. But no pictures of the other two. So I said to him, how about some Easter pictures? He said, well, I'm afraid that's about as good as it gets. I'm like, did you sell the other two kids? Simon brought it back for the back from the vault. I used that foam 15 years ago. Really? Branded from Ranger. Oh, it's been around that long? Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't have mine 15 years ago. Jenny, chew your bone. Daddy will be home in a little bit. She was just out, so I think she's really fine. She's just wanting to be... paid attention to. I'm getting smaller and smaller. Oh, that's not good. I um, need to get another big button down here. Methinks. See, now this one I won't use. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like hidden lines underneath that top load. It's just it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. That's too high. Look, this still has a, oh, that's a neat design. This still has a piece of metal in here. It's okay, Jenny. You're okay. Oh, they would look pretty, Kel. Guess you're going to have to find your way back to Jersey. Okay, let's get that on. Let's see. Is the button card heading to the... To the it's go, I'm going to use it as a stamp on my jelly plate. I can't find my stamping foam mitts. Sad to say. I know I bought some because uh, I sent some to Holly. So Holly's been going to, gosh, February, I think it was two years. And I haven't seen it since I bought it. I know I put it in a really safe place. I think I'm pretty good at that. Yeah, she's unhappy. She's got a bone. She's got water. She's got breakfast. She was just out. She's really fine. She just wants somebody to play with her. Dad's not home yet. I don't want to use that little green button. Uh, it's probably not going to fit in there. That'll do. Okay. Gosh, I hope this looks cute like Beer Geeks did. <laughs> all right, so I've got that. I mean, I've got other stuff. I just didn't pull it all out, you know? I don't have a button. I don't have a button tray. So let's get these back in the jug. Yeah, little Jenny wants to eat mommy's face. Oh no, button on the floor. She'll she'll have it. She finds every little tiny thing. And we're, you know, old. First of all, we're old. Second of all, 
the last dogs we had were old, so they didn't, you know, they didn't bother with anything. They didn't eat everything that their little nose came in contact with. So there it is. I should probably get that. Where's my I get my pinchers? That's that's a good. That's a good. All right, so get the buttons out of the way. Jenny, you can guard the buttons. And then where do I have my like over here somewhere? It's like the blind. There it is, right there. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Oh, come here. I don't have much of a lap, so it's not like you can sit. You can't sit on mommy's lap, really. Can you sit right there without getting into trouble for just a minute? Okay, so I'm going to take some of this. I think this will just be really messy if I just put this on the plate. So I, I was thinking about just gluing some of it on like that, but that's probably silly. We'll just take that piece. Okay, Jenny? Okay. Now I have to think about um, paper size because I was just going to use my little piece of gel plate because I want my here can you go under there can you just sit there no, she's not she's not too wanting to be on her back to get her belly rubbed yet I think we have to train her for that um I'm thinking about paper and paper size okay you have to get down now okay if you're going to cry, you're going to have to cry. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, baby. So find your bone. All right. So see, underneath here, I've got paper. See, now this would be maybe not too bad. Fold it in half for pages, right? So I've got a bunch of that, and then I've got a bunch of this, now this, so I've got plenty of paper, okay, so this is what I'm going to be working from. Now, I just have to get myself organized a little bit here. So, I think I'll pull out my, my large plate, and then I can use half of the plate to print, and then the other half I can use. I'll fit my little roll-off tablet, and uh, maybe that'll work. Now, I just need a place for my paper to go. So that can go over there. Now I want to have a look at my sprays. I think I want to start out trying some of my sprays because I want a more of a more of a natural looking page versus you know bright um, colors that may be. And I don't know how the spray's going to work with, you know, the buttons and jazz that I am hoping to use. Okay, so I don't know that I want black soot. Chopped pesto, a little green might not be bad. Vintage photo, definitely. Tattered rose, that could work. 
Ice spruce. It's got a little bit of a shimmery green blue kind of a look. Antique linen. That can work. Uh, walnut. That might be a little dark, but we can get that out. What do I have sitting there? Oh, that other course. Okay. See, this is a good day to do this with no nails on because I hate doing this stuff when my, I have nails set on. Mood Lawn is kind of bright. Black marble. I don't know if I want black. What is this one? Oh, melted chocolate. Doesn't that sound yummy? Brushed pewter. Mm, I don't think so. Dyed uh, tea dye. Mm -hmm. Pomegranate seed. Mm. Crushed olive. Maybe not. I don't think I want to get into any oranges, blues. I think that's another black. Peeled paint. I don't know what brand that is. It says American Journey. See, I got these from a, a gal that I just bought all what she had. Oh, there's a, uh, a Tattered Angels. I didn't know that was in there. All right, let's give those a go. Let's see how we make out. All right, so this is my plan. Line these babies up. <laughs> Don't know if my plate's going to fit here. And I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's get rid of some of this jasmatas. Move my water back. And my lemonade. Paint water. Lemonade out of the way. Sprays can go to the right. Left, right, left, right. Hi, Ange. Welcome back. I didn't realize you scooted out. Okay, so let's get the plate up. And so I'm going to use half of my plate to print, half of my plate to roll off. If I even need a brayer. I guess I need a brayer, huh? Let's see. I have a little... I would like that. Oh, there it is, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've got any in here. Yeah, there's some in there. Okay. I think that's onion skin paper. I don't know that I'll do that. My sweater sleeves are definitely, definitely in the way, in the way, in the way. All right, let's see. Just in case we need a brighter. Now I haven't gel printed in a while, so I need to get my groove on. I did try to clean this up, so I might get some interesting bits here. All right, so are we good? Anything you need me to see? see okay um kel is going back to beating her rope she's listening on the big tv all right hey there's candy morning candy how you doing oh judy that sounds so cool can you really tell I just love that fresh, you know, outside smell. Of course, I've never done it as a married woman. My mom um, used to have us hang wash when we were kids. All right. So the plan is.
I have this piece of lace and I've got this. So is that is there an, is there a gel printing expert in the house? <laughs> now I, I'm I'm thinking I don't necessarily want to use acrylic paint. I want my pages to look almost tea dyed or coffee dyed, uh, coffee stained, but maybe with a little bit of a pattern here and there so that the pages really, uh, you know, I can build things on them, but they can be used for journaling and not be in your face with color and heaviness. So maybe I should just get started and see what happens. So I'm going to just start spraying on some, oh, you know what I should do? I should cover up my keyboard, maybe. <laughs> I should cover up my keyboard, maybe. That might be a good idea. Okay. All right, so Distress Spray Stain. This is Tattered Rose. And you know what I didn't get? I didn't find my... I was looking for it earlier. I didn't find my little... My little mister. That's what I'm going to need. My little miss... Mister... Sisters... Sister, it comes between me and my sister. I have a very sick mind. I know I have one here. Oh, stink a poo. And Lord, the sister. Might be on the other side of my sewing machine. One moment, please. Oh, Phil. That's score. Stanley is in the bird feeder again. Uh, I'm going to throw something at my wall. If I break that, oh, that little. Oh, he, see, he goes right up the pole. Ron's thinking if he moves it, he won't be able to get up there, but he goes right up the pole. Oh. I'm going to have to get another, sorry, sorry, I am so sorry, but I'm thinking I want some water on there to move this around. I did just see it, but I just didn't know I was going to need it. shoot okay my mind will come up with something else in a minute all right let me grab a piece of paper let's just see what this looks like of course that's a couple sheets of paper very pink so that almost looks like avocado like an avocado dyed paper And of course, I didn't think about where to put the paper. Now, I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. This is vintage photo. 
What if I just spray a lot of that in one area? This is going to be a little scary, I think. This is going to look like nothing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, so maybe what I need to do is just look at me already. Put down a little bit of um, acrylic. And maybe mix it with the other with the other jazz. Does anybody know if the spray will go through say this? Let's try. We've tried and failed before. Let's try it again. All right, that vintage photo is quite. Oh, let's try now. That's kind of. Let's try the tea. It will go through larger holes, says Gail. Okay. Oh yeah, see now I got something there. I know Brigitte was saying, whatever you want to pick up has to really be dry. Is that any better if I put my light on? struggle with knowing what colors are good to pick up with. This is a blush pink. Gail says, well, okay, if you are going to put other paint on it. Yeah, I thought I'd spray through that to get the shape, and then in order to pick that up, don't I have to put paint on it? If I want to pick up that little design. I don't really know. I'm open. Or am I not listening? I'm not intentionally not listening. If you lift it wet, you could have picked it up all alone oh okay either way works all right i think i probably didn't like leave it dry enough gail and brigitte was saying a very thin coat which i know that but i think i was over anxious here So that really is just plain. All right, let's try that again. But see, if I put, oh, that's stuck. Oh boy, okay. Now this is just um, 
composition paper. So this is pretty thin. Gail said, Lori, if it doesn't work this way, use inks. Do I have, I have inks, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have all those inks that Peggy gave me. Okay, Gail. I may, I thought maybe some, is Andrea out? Bye, Andrea. No, read that again, she said. Okay, if you are going to put other paint on it, okay, if you left it wet, you could have picked it up alone. Either way works. Lori, I think it doesn't work this way using inks. Oh, yeah, well, these aren't inks. These are stain sprays, so that might be also a problem. See, now I can see that, but it's very wet. So you're saying I should be able to pick that up. Yeah, but see, when I press it, it moves it. Same difference, stains, inks. Doesn't work on gel plate like paint does. Okay, thanks, Gil. Well, that kind of worked, but it's kind of ugly. I think, methinks. I want to do something with these buttons. Of course, I'm so tempted to pull out like neon colors. This is um, kind of a brown pink. This still has some of that vintage photo on it. Ah! I didn't pick it up well. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream in your ear. All right, now where's my little bit up? Here we go. Laura will not run out of inks anytime soon. No, I will not. <laughs> Sherry, good morning. Oops. Kind of cool. Okay, now what else was I? Oh, I was thinking about this is probably too dry to roll that, get anything. Yeah. 
Look a little bit. So now this I have to really let dry. I need paint to pick this up, right? I can't pick this up with that, any of that spray stuff, right? This stuff does, this um, gel printing stuff does not stick in my brain at all. Correct. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Now, the question is, what color do I pick up with that will make it look, you know, half decent? I have a burnt sienna. A very light color, Gail said. Burnt Sienna is not a light color. How about a natural buff? Let's see if I have anything left in here that I can get out. Oh, this is slim pickings here. Whoop. I was thinking this sprayer was smaller, but it's not really. That's my small one's really tucked in the back. Now I want a light application, do I not? And then Brigitte was saying you have to really let it dry in order to pick it up. I was always thinking, I'm always thinking, if you let it dry too much, your paper's going to stick to the plate. I don't think this is wet enough to even stick my paper down. Ooh. No. Put paper down, then let dry. I think it's already too dry, Gail. This is this is really dry. Yes, there's a fine line between not long enough and too long. Of course, of course it is. I don't know if I want to do this either. Yeah, I did. I did do it, Gail. It doesn't feel dry. But look, I did get some of the marks from that lace up top here. Can you guys see that? Right up here. Looks cool. Well, then wait and see if it still feels cool. Yeah, it does still feel cool. There's a lump there. I think I do my knuckle. 
somehow, somehow or another. Sherry said, I did a live stream yesterday of printing if anyone wants to watch. Okay, Sherry, thank you. I saw that you uh, I saw that you uploaded something. Not enough paint on there. Let's try antique linen. You're welcome. Yeah, I didn't really know you did live streams either. Thank you, Gail. Gail is, she is on top of it. Okay. Let's skip the other side of this. I think Hubs went to the grocery store. I'm here and I'm rummaging around out there. Get a bigger piece of paper here. It's not super big. Somewhere I have gigantic paper. I think it's underneath my one little storage unit. I have to dig it out. Did you get some nice prints, Joey? Were you using, tell us all about it. Were you using a particular paper? Were you using different images to get different? Oh, yeah, this stuff's not coming up, baby. Well, that doesn't look great, but you know what? For what I want, I think I think that looks cool. Because I'm just wanting... Papers that just look old and grungy, really. Look, I got a big, big scabby thing there. I need a better. Oh, let's see. This might be too orangey. This is Prairie Sunset. I don't want it to really look orange. Let's see what this is. This is a flush of, oh, this is Santa flush. Eh. Maybe Santa flush and a little bit of white. I think I need to practice this a little more before I come on and do silly things. Now, when Devin and Brigitte, and even Lisa Conway, when they just put their paint on and do this part, you can see how talented they are. Not this old gal. Not this old gal. Gosh, my hands are filthy. Devin makes it look so easy. Yeah, she does. So her husband did pretty good when she had him on. I think I have to take my sweater off. Let's get those other little guys here. Sherry sure, said, I have a few live streams and a lot of videos if you have time. I'd love to have the comments. Okay, Sherry. And is it just called Sherry Having? I know somebody put, I know Gail put it in, but I didn't really read the words. Okay, I'm taking my sweater. I'm just putting it because it's chilly in my room. Now it will be chilly. Okay. 
the um the um and you did too, Kel. Thank you. The um composition paper is so thin. I'm afraid it's gonna stick. Sherry Haven. Okay, cool. I'll have to remember that because there's a lot of times Hubs is watching something on TV and I'm like, oh, what can I watch now? And I can put my earplugs in. You have to use the ones the puppy doesn't chew. <laughs> cool. Hmm. No, I don't, you know, that's not too terribly bad. Boy, it's just the, the, um, pressure or the the uh, tension of pulling that off is just unreal I did get some of that lace in there that's cool all right so so now if I think about I've got a sheet of paper okay I'm gonna probably fold it this way and create signatures so this is what i'm going to say so if i put the paper down this way maybe i don't want the design on the whole page maybe i just want some across the bottom like this so what if i put a little vintage photo down here Put a little up there. So let me try that. Oh, I just noticed those flowers. Those flowers are cute. I should cut this. I don't think that did anything. Maybe I should get out my stencils. Maybe I should just give it up. Give up the ghost. Oh, I got a little bit. I got a little bit there. Um, 
that's kind of cool. Not enough. All right, let's. A little bit of fiber, yeah. Gosh, I wonder what I did with my spray bottle. I keep grabbing the paint that's not open. I don't need the paint that's not open. I've got paint open. They make it, even pouring the paint on, they make it look easy. I just drug the cap in it. Good grief. Okay, Gail, take care. Gail, let me know when your appointment is with your neurologist, if you would, please. I'd like to be praying. <clears throat> Have a good afternoon, Gail. Okay. Let's... Um... I like that white in this beige. Um combo and nothing set in stone right I can do whatever I like maybe I'd like to stick my buttons in here maybe I would like to do that see if I should have put a handle on this This is not working for me. It's sticking too much. All right, so if I print that, if I pick that up, Where's my little, where's my scissors? I'm gonna cut a little piece of this. Oh, I know what I should have done. I should have gotten a plastic bag. And that might be the could be the top of my paper. Hmm. Too dry. Too dry. I like my little button tray. <laughs> I do like my little button tray. <laughs> okay, I need a little more of my lemonade. I think that's making me thirstier. I wonder if I put some tattered rose on top. 
how that would affect the color. Now, can I prayer that? Let's try it up here. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm going to try to pick that up with the graph paper. This already has some stuff on it. So now I got to put another. If I. See, I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So if I take the. What did I do with it? The tattered rose. And spray that on. And then move it a little bit. Is that going to be enough for me to pick up? Yeah, you should get better. I don't know that I am getting any better. See, that's the sad part for me. Of course, I'm way out of my comfort zone with the sprays and stuff. I think um, I've used watercolor and I've used coffee. And I just slap it on with a brush and I get kind of a watery stain. And I kind of like that. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look like anything, but doesn't look bad. No, that doesn't look too bad. You can see a little bit of the buttons. Hmm. Oh, I wish I knew where, where my tub of, um, we were back in here. My tub of threads. I have a little, like, deli, little deli tub of threads back over here. I mean, I've got stuff packed. Just ask Kelly in. No, don't ask her now. She's busy. A sheet of book paper would look printed on. This one's got a big old hole in it. Let's take that off. I'm going to try that again. Okay, so let me put. Hey, Tool. Boy, my tub still puts on the <laughs> And I love it, Tool. I have a hard time using some of it. 
Oh, I should have pulled out paper doilies. So by the time of my by the time my stream ends, I'll probably have like three sheets of paper. I'm liking how this looks, girls. I'm liking how this looks. So a little tacky. Hey, it looks good on my finger. So now that last one I sprayed on extra. Maybe I could do the. Um, Inches and then or whatever it's called. This doesn't have all the things knocked down. Oh, yeah. Still looks a little, yeah. See, it's still a little tacky. Tacky. Look, it still has the uh, little bits. Whoever made these for me. I don't know if that was Teresa. Could have been Teresa. That's a cutie. That's a little cutie. A little cutie patootie. All right, so I was going to try the uh, antique linen. I don't think you have to shake this, but I keep shaking it. I know shipping is just terrible. To Canada, anyway. Ooh, that's cool looking. My runoff plate's kind of, kind of cool. All right, I was going to try this paper. Let me get another sheet of that. This is just a, um, a garden book that I'm taking apart, and the pages are a nice weight, not too heavy like cardstock, but nicer than. Um, Ooh, that's cool. That'd make a cool pocket. Nicer than uh, printer paper. but I like it. Wait a minute. Let me get my other. Let's see if I can get any more of this up on the other half of that. Perseverance. Yes, ma'am. And then I got the yuck on that side. Well, these didn't do too much. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's try this melted chocolate. Ah. Whoa, that's really dark. Um. Gosh, I wish I could put my hands on. See, that's alcohol. I don't want alcohol. For heaven's sakes, Lori. I've got so many of those little spray atomizers, I can't even tell you. And I keep at least two on my desk, which is now what I cannot find. I think it's they're buried behind the rubble. The rubble, I say. The rubble. I got Easter eggs. Got me some Easter eggs here. I hate to keep you guys waiting while I'm doing for my my spot. I just wasn't thinking about needing that. It could be on the floor. Okay, I'm dropping something, so don't get scared. It's not an avalanche. Oh, my goodness. That looks cool. That looks cool. Or get it to print, get it to pull. Okay, and enjoy. The Phillies are playing the Nationals again today, probably starting around one, I would think. Let me check the time. That almost looks, um, Everything's bothering me. Uh, that almost looks um, crackled. Where am I going to put my rings so that I don't lose them? I like the... Um, antique linen color better than I like. Now I put that dark chocolate, mel melted chocolate on, but that color's not what I'm looking for. Let's try this antique. I'm surprised she didn't have any um, burlap in her stash. Okay, so I don't want any more melted chocolate. A little hint of, thanks Sherry. I think a little hint of that. A tattered rose might be nice. Now 
Now, I wonder if I got some of the inks out that Peggy sent me. Peggy, what do you think about that? If I got some of the inks out, would it bleed all the way through to the other side of my paper? So my papers, my pulls would turn out to be double-sided. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. That would be a neat page. See, they're kind of one-sided because it's not going totally through. Let's try. I like that pink and... Um, yellow kind of together let's grab a little bit of that right there Ooh, that's cool like it kind of bleeds through the fabric now let me get my little my little wheelie cart turned around here that's my inks i need the inks right here I'm looking for the, of course, the more neutral parts. Let's see. Inks pull nice. It will bleed on the paper. Okay, let's let's see what that's like. All right, so I've got here lemonade. That might be nice. I've got peach bellini. I don't want to get orangey too much, but let's see. Sunshiny yellow, honeycomb, that's going to be good. This, oh, pebble, that might be nice, huh? Pebble, a little pebble, mushroom, lovely. Let's see what's in the other bin. I think there might be a, I know I have a couple that I keep on my desk over time. Mm, that color. Butterscotch, oh yum. Oh yummy, yum, yum. Current crimson pink chivet, a raspberry. Okay, now this is going to be scary. All right, let's see. Let's try a little bit. Now, I just need a little drop, right? And then I can move it around. A little squirt. A little squirt to McGirt. That is the mushroom. Hmm. Pebble. Looks like it's got a little bit of green in it. But they're going to dry fast too, right? Oh, how delicious. That's nice and light. Okay, so how do I want to get this to work? Here's my smaller plate. What if I don't 
Do I want to put, well, I guess they're alcohol, right? Yeah, do I want to spritz um, regular alcohol on my plate, though? Wow, that's really thick, Lori. Really thick. Okay, what did I do with my buttons and bows? The old gray hair. Oh, I guess that's not my hair. That's, yeah, that's, um, you know what it is. It's the, uh, you know. Glue, glue strings, hot glue strings. Let's try this butterscotch. Now this, I'm just trying it out on this little. Ooh, got yeller. Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow. Sorry. Oh, boy, that's not clearing up. Oh, doesn't look like buttons, but it looks cool. Look at that. So that's what Kel's saying. Kel's saying spritz it with, okay, gotcha. All right. All right, kid, hold on. All right, so. Let me put down. I can't see my clock anymore. I can't see my clock. All right, where's my... Now, I want to pound something else in there. This lace is really stiff, and I've got quite a bit of it. Let me get a little piece of this. Hmm. That's a good background. Okay. So now let me put on. Hmm. 
we put on the mushroom. I'm going to take my alcohol. Whoa. I ruined it. Let me spritz it again. This is like putting hot sauce on a taco. This is going to be funky. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Look at how cool my fingers are. Down there's cool, huh? Maybe don't spritz so much. Okay. Hmm. It's a little damp. Keep losing my buttons. I'm really liking my buttons. I should have pulled out all my other stuff I have for jelly printing. Oh. This little guy pulled off. Come back. Less spray works better. You're right, Kel. Is that what you're saying? You're right, Kel. You're right, Kel. Okay. Oh, that's the one with the little star. He was cute. He was cute. All right, so now I want to let this dry, right? So I can pick up. Let me get some of these papers out of the way. I can't see mine. How did I do this one? This one's really cool. A little too yellow, but really cool. This was cool, but too dark. Uh, I'm just 
stuff. Oh yeah, that's cool. Now, if I put ink on this, Oh, okay, Sherry. If I put ink on this and um, spritz it with alcohol, then I'm going to lose my buttons, correct? Maybe I'll print on this, this side of this. Maybe I'll do the, um, it just needs to be wet, right? All right, let me put the, uh, that's the antique linen, which I kind of like, I think. That still looks kind of cool. And this looks okay, but I didn't really pick up any any design. Look, I'm losing all my rings here. They're just getting in my way. Doing this messy stuff. Let's put them all up there. All right, maybe I need a little uh, paint to pick that up. Those light pages would be good stenciled over. Yeah, that's true, Peggy. That's a great idea. The problem is, can I just be very, can I be very honest? Like, if you're trying to sell journals you're making, and you spend a lot of time on paper prep and the paper that you're going to use, I mean, I'm having a hard enough time selling my journals. And then the more work you put in it, you just you, you can't make any money. To be quite honest. So I really wanted to kind of pull, be able to pull and just be able to use them. I think in order to do that, I should just really do my coffee stain stuff. I, what I need is Jacqueline. She she prints paper that looks cool, but I think she stacks um, she stacks stencils in between her paper. And this is kind of I think too dark to really journal on. If I'm being honest, I try to always be honest. Mm. 
And I got some bits that just will not come up. Ah, there goes my paper. Phooey. All right, hold on. I saw Brigitte do this too. Can you imagine Brigitte? That's such a cute name. Cute name. This is good for, yeah, good for making it. And that's what I wanted, a stash of paper that I can use with the uh, covers that I plan to make that I did earlier. Now she did this, everything pulled right up. I might just go get my coffee. And do some that way. Not worried about, you know, making a design. Well, I have all this mess out. Then I can let you guys go because I know there's a lot of other a lot of other stuff going on. Sunday's becoming a more popular streaming day. Might be good to move to Saturday. More ways than one. Yeah, well, yeah, and book paper, too. I do love my coffee stained paper. And then I can sit here and iron it. Watch the game. All right, let me go get my coffee, and then I probably won't keep you all here too much longer. See, this is what I do. I just had my bone folder in my hand, in my hot little hand, and then I lay it down, and I don't remember where I put it. That's so sad. Let me quick go get that. I'll do a couple that way and see how that looks. I know as soon as I end my stream, I'll find my little spritzer. I should take my little Okay. Now I broke my chair all over my sweater. 
Lovely. All right, a new jug of water. And my coffee. I'm going to need this. Pop that out of the way. Oh my gosh. This looks like a hoarder's home. <laughs> a, hoard, a hoarder's art space. Oh my gosh. Good night. Look at me. All right, let's find a big brush. is what I'm going to do. See, and then it kind of separates on the plate, which I like. Which I like. And then I just sop it up. And I usually do both sides. Now that'll be some good writing paper because it gets all, um, you know, crinkly. It's crinkly too. It's all crinkly. Yeah. I have so many cups and jars sitting over here. You would be amazed. All full. And then my little cart. My little three-tiered cart, which I absolutely love. Sitting behind me. That's got all kinds of little jars and cups filled. With all kinds of goodies. So I think I'll just spend some time doing some of this. Girls. Looks like a couple more folks came in. So what I'm working on is making a stash of um just plain stained paper that can be used as journal pages that I can either, you know, decorate, put pockets on, add things to, but also, you know, have plenty of space for journaling. And smaller, I'm looking to make smaller ones. This morning I came on early and I went through some of the fabric that I I used um, and did some gel printing on a while ago. And I want to use that fabric to make soft covers for journals. Ri Ri, hello, my love. How are you? Are you having a good day, Ri? Tomorrow, I'm headed over to Pennsylvania to see my mom. Got her some new tops. So my younger sister's going to meet me. We're going to try tops on mom if she's having a good day. And then I need to drop off. And I think my sister and I will have lunch. And then... I need to drop off birthday presents for the little birthday boy. Oh, you know what? I should try to pick up what's left on here. Look, isn't that cute? Let's see if I can get that to pull up. That's so cute. <laughs> I don't feel so bad. Well, I what did I do? I did that to you one time. What did I? Oh, look, it didn't pick it up.
I don't know. I called Jacqueline yesterday because I had my phone on my lap and the puppy jumped down. She hit the screen and she dialed Jacqueline. I know it is embarrassing, right? But really, I don't care. If you do it to me. We don't care. We don't. We don't care. We don't care. I'm telling you, it's like when I first started to meet all you girls, I broad dialed Janet Nash and oh my gosh, Aunt Beck and Ann Lar. Oh my gosh, I was mortified. Mortified. I guess the heaviness of the paper doesn't really matter. This is not coming up. I might need to. <laughs> Look, that's making a cool pattern, though, isn't it? Man, I wish that was bigger. How did I do that? See, that's the thing. When Devin does something, she remembers what she does. So when I do something in this in this um, venue, genre, no clue. I don't know how I got that stuff on there. I first couldn't tell. I know. I had my my bra was ringing, and I'm like, oh my lord, am I dialing those dear women? Look, I think I do remember. I think I put on a layer of paint, popped my, oh, I should do this bigger because I want bigger. Well, I need some small paper too. I always assume it's a mistake, even with my sisters. They're like, did I do that? And I'm like, yep, wouldn't me for a change. Like you girls, I don't feel, I wouldn't feel too, too terribly bad. But oh my gosh, if I, if I dialed, um, say like Dee Dee. <gasps> She's like a star. She's like a rock star. Okay, let me do this. I forget in my... Thanks, Peggy. I, I forget... Like my son-in-law is always telling me, Mom, just shut your shut the screen, you know, like turn it off. See, I'm chatting to somebody. I always leave everything open. Not good. Not good. Now let's see what this does. This is a car this is the uh this is the tea, tea dye spray. Where's that other little one? Let's see if I can line that up. Still damp. Ooh! Not too shabby. Let's get the coffee on there. But even magazine pages, like there's an old video, Shannon Green is printing on with watercolor. No, no, she's not even printing. I think she's just painting on watercolor on magazine pages and they get so crinkly and yummy coffee fixes everything yeah that and chocolate i uh, didn't do it didn't do it i tried but it didn't do it all right well, let me get my 
vintage photo. I've got to remember to. Ooh. Hey, Mitz, you're still here. Thanks, kid. A little too much. See if I had my water, my water spray. Let's do this. Dip it in the water. Maybe it'll pull up enough. Mitz, I think it would be fun to hang out with you in art. Did you ever go on anybody's channel, Mitz? Would you do that? Would you come on like Peggy did and, and play? Yeah. Look, that's looking cool though, right? Maybe I should put some um maybe I should put some paint on that and pull it. You would? Okay, let's talk. We'll chat. We'll chat. Think about what you would like to do. How can I get this up, girls? Just paint? Some acrylic? What color? No, oh, what color? What color? What color? What color? Try acrylic. Okay, what color, Peggy? <gasps> I left it on too long. It's the scene of greeting. Well, I've got to see how that dries. That might, that might be cool for like a, a cluster. I would love to ask Mary to come on. I think she would, but she has a hard time with her microphone and it's hard to hear. Something a bit darker. I'm going to use this um, Sienna again then. All right, after this one, I'm out. I gotta go grab. I just ate something, but I need a little more. Judy, red or blue? I'm trying to stay away from um, bright brights. I'm trying to do more. Um, Neutral, neutral tones. Oh. Oh. Can you see? Oh, say, can you see? Oh, look, I only need about a hundred more of these. Could you journal on top of that? Like a coffee stain the back side. What if I... Okay, now, see, now this is exciting for me. Woohoo! All right, so let's get a little more of this on. Okay, I'm not going to keep you here this afternoon. I'm going to make more of these. And then I'm, I'm going to make my paper smaller. Here, you get your hiney out the way. Yeah. Paper smaller. Okay. Now, where's my silly button tree? wonder how that lace would look. <laughs> Watch. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Yeah. Yeah, you got that. You got it right, Judy. Okay. I have to try that.
I don't want to rip my paper. I guess I could pick it up this way though, couldn't I? This this these pages will be for a really small journal. I have I have planned. Oh, Keisha's coming on. Okay. I have planned um some really small journals. Yeah, it's only took an, it's only took in a few hours and then I will forget what I did the next time I go to do this crazy stuff. Um I think I want that same coloring though. Working it down the plate, working it down, working my way back to you, babe. The burning love inside. Oh, baby, oh, baby. I hate the white rim, but see, I'll be trimming that. Oh, look at that. Where's, where's a piece of, I want to get, pick that up. All right, I'm going to work on some more of these. Hey, thanks for everybody coming in. Look how yummy that is. I want to try the lace. Do I waste all this lace? That could just be, okay, so if I fold it, I would want it to be this way. Okay, let's think about, let's see, I'm just trying to think. Thinking is hard, thinking is hard for me. i got to play pinochle tonight. Got to play pinochle tonight. to be able to think 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 oh i really put a thick coat of that on all right so let's do that and let's see that's real wiggly it might not turn out so well i should just use my fingers huh ah. Still moved it. How does Devin Rex do it? Look how cute my fingers look. Lace looks. Probably just a piece of fabric to just give it some texture might look okay. Well, you can write on dry acrylic with a big tank. Yeah, I meant um mostly Judy. I was thinking if it was too dark, not really physically if you can do it, but just if the print maybe looked too dark. So thank you. Yeah, like your sharpies and all. That'll kind of ruin it. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha, Mama. Okay, let's see. Dry brayer. 
Dry brayer. Do 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 do. Dry brayer. Dry brayer. All right. A little bit of sienna. Sienna. I think I have a hankering for some pickles. Some pickles. I just thought of what would work. Uh, some of those wheelie things from um, some of those wheelies from uh, Stampin' Up. You know what I mean, right, Peggy? Those um, I have those. You used to play pinochle with your mother. In law and father in law, when you divorced your ex husband, I told him his mom was still my family. She was a great lady. She passed away last year. I'm mean, ah, oh, Judy, I'm sorry for your loss there. That's nice that you were able to snake stay connected. I don't think everybody has that. Well, my husband um, and I play with our friends virtually now because they moved to Colorado. I know. How dare they, right? Uh, just because they're kids and grandkids. Anywho. But he's always, if you have a computer and you're interested, let me know. He'd be happy to set you up. He's, sometimes he's looking for, especially with his lady friends here in our development to play um, double pinochle online. I'm always looking for a fourth person sometimes. It's hard for them to find a fourth person. What was I going to push in there? Oh, my wheelie thing. I didn't get my wheelie thing. I have a small one here. This isn't stamping up, but it does the same thing. How about it? Huh? Yeah, rolling stamps. Exacto mundo. Now let's put little circles in there. See, this is what happens. You go to get off and you just keep fussing, just keep playing, just keep swimming. I'm on a roll. I wish I had a roll. Oh my gosh. I watched the funniest stream. I got not stream, real. I have to send it to my sister. Maybe I'll send it to you, Peggy. It's this young woman and her husband. They're on vacation. She's talking to her kids. And he says something like, I know it's hard for you to be on vacation and be able to enjoy yourself away from the kids. And he pulls out like a, he pulls, he pulls out a sonic milkshake out from underneath the sheets. He said, so I've repacked all the clothes that you brought for our vacation and sent them back home. So you're going to have to go to the mall this afternoon. And buy a whole new wardrobe. And she's like really? And he's like well I just want you to enjoy yourself. And by then. The Sonic will have worn off. And don't you even think about those other restaurants. We're going to go to the Cheesecake Factory. And you can order what you want. And I'll order your second and third choice. It, it's so funny. I'll have to send it to you. Whoops. Dropped my prayer.
I found a, a little tiny um, hardcover for a journal, all gutted, and a box or bag of stuff I had stored somewhere. Golly sakes. It would be trash to most people. Let's see. Yeah, it says something about um, what does POV mean? They put at the top. It's like what what every girl would want their husband to be. This kind of looks like wallpaper. Yeah, I think that was the ticket. It, nobody has a husband like that. But it was so, it was really cute. And her little eyes, her little eyes get all wide, you know. Really? I know that POV means something. Okay, I'm really going to go this time. I'm going to gather up all my pages. Stack them. I don't have too many of these. I need to dry that out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, coffee stain the backs of that. Look, I stuck it down again. Oh my gosh, girls! Thanks so much for being here and enduring my <sighs> my experimenting. It's so fun to have someone to chat with and play play with. Oh my gosh, yeah, my hubby does everything, so I, I don't know what that's like, but I can imagine, because it would be hard. What did he say the other day? Everything needs to be cleaned. The floors, the bare, and I said, well, if you're not going to do it, we have to hire somebody, because my back will not allow me to do it. I just, I can't do it. I don't really want to do it, but I would do it if I could do it, but I can only do a couple of minutes. I have to do everything in a chair. You know, just how it is. All right, my dears. I shall see you very soon, I hope. Have a great week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't do anything crazy with the eclipse, okay? Behave. Oh, behave yourselves. And I shall see you soon. Don't forget, take time to be creative. Enjoy the journey. Until next time, bye-bye.